Damn Moskal here, and in this video we're going to look at MailChimp, we're going to create a list, and then we're going to put it on our website. We're going to add it to a, uh, we're going to also create a sign up form and we're going to add it to a blogger website. Um, we'll talk about it in case you're using WordPress when we get over to that. So, the first thing you want to do is log into your campaign. Don't worry about any of this, go down to the list tab. Click on create a list right here in the top corner create a list, your list name. I believe your uh, people will actually see this. So we're just going to say Dan Moskal newsletter. Uh, this would be saying who your email's coming from. We'll make a future video to show more about that. Uh, reply to email. This is just kind of like your email address. We're just going to uh, put in our Gmail address here. And then you don't need to do anything with the subject line. You could do a confirmation, but I don't recommend doing that. I mean, if somebody visits your website and signs up for your list, like, I don't want to have to confirm that you have the right email. I just, just send me this stuff. It's not that big of a deal to uh, unsubscribe if I want, in my opinion. I don't know. I'm not doing anything unethical either. So, uh, I would, we're going to leave that blank. <laughs> Remind people how they got your list, copy and remission. This, Aweber doesn't require you to, which doesn't really matter, but, sorry. Uh, just use what? MailChimp is, has, you are receiving this email because you opted in at our website. We have it written. And then, this is how you want to be notified, like how often people are signing up and when they're signing up. Uh, we're going to say, as people subscribe, we want an email. I never check this. This is how people will actually receive your emails, your marketing emails, whether they'll be in HTML form or plain text. You want to give them both options from my understanding. That's probably five or six years dated, but I don't know why it would change. Uh, I can load images whether I'm using my phone or some of my email even on desktop. So this button right here, save, you need to save your list and then boom you've got a brand new list now to create a form you need to actually click on your list and then it's the sign up forms right here so you can choose whatever you want uh, I would recommend embedding forms this seems like the easiest and so this is the title to your mailing list. We're going to say just subscribe to our newsletter. And if you look right here, well just changed, but it says it right here, subscribe to our newsletter. That's where that's written. Uh, I like only the email address. I just think it's easier and more likely that people will sign up. And if you, well I'll ask you that in just a second interest group field. I'm not sure what this does. I've tried it, checked it on, checked it on, and I can't find anything. Some of these things you're just going to have to play with a little bit. This is this little required thing. I'm going to just leave it off. <clears throat> the width is, so if you want to put it in your sidebar, you put it right here. If you know what this width is, you know, this little search bar width, then you could put that in. If you just leave it blank, and we'll see if this works with Blogger. You can see us do it on our WordPress website in another video here that we've already done on our channel. But if you leave it blank, at least with WordPress, it'll automatically fit the width. Let me just pull up that website so you can see it, or one of those websites so you can see it. See right here? It fit. It automatically, leaving it blank, they automatically uh, adjusted the size to make it fit and that also applied we have one at the bottom of the page subscribe to our newsletter for more credit help uh, that's automatically sized we left the 
width blank so we're gonna go ahead and just leave it blank but you could set it if you want they look I believe it's in pixels yeah and then this stuff we're not gonna check any of them you can spend some more time looking at it if you would like this right here will give you just a little bit of variation on this website we have the super slim here at the top if I remember right but it's a little bit smaller of a uh, sign up form we're not even gonna look at this other things the uh, one and only the one thing I really want to ask you well here let's just <laughs> We're going to copy this code, cut this code. This is what's really important. This is how you actually put it on your website. So we just copied and cut that code. On our WordPress website, it's your widgets. On your blogger website, we're going to do it in the layout as a gadget. And we're just going to put an HTML JavaScript box on there. Widgets, you can do it with a WordPress website. You can, WordPress <laughs> website, you can do it with your widgets and uh, just do it in the with a pl plain or blank widget form. So, boom, it automatically did that as an FYI. So you don't need to put the uh, set of width on your form. But it's this code that was right in here. And then uh, we're gonna get an email to our Gmail whenever people sign up for our list. Uh, we might need to look at something because we should have subscribers. We've got enough traffic to uh, this site that, on a daily traffic that we should definitely have had subscribers. My one criticism, and I might just be missing this, and this is such an important and key vital thing, AWeber gives you a way to easily test the actual form, uh, where do we go? Here it is. The actual form, what you say, like, so for one form, we could say subscribe to our newsletter. And the form that we tested it against, and you, I think you can test it against 50 of them. We'll make some videos here in the future, but you could test out, get the seven tips to affiliate marketing or a seven day online course or something that's a little bit more compelling that you know you're giving away something a little bit more valuable the seven keys to search engine optimization or the seven deadly sins uh, and you could see which one of those forms converted and got people to actually give you their information because if this is accurate and we really don't have any subscribers then this call to action subscribe to our newsletter for more credit help is really not a good headline to use that is horrendous because we had with a Weber we were getting a, we have enough traffic that there should be a number of subscribers in the short time we've had that posted on there so that is uh, one thing I wish and I think MailChimp just isn't aware of it or maybe you have to have an upgrade or I'm not I'm not sure the other last thing so let's go ahead and add let's just subscribe to our newsletter real quick with Aweber and I'm sure some of these other subs uh, services when you click subscribe this new window and we this new window could one open up in the same window so we didn't get taken off the website which I don't know. I don't know how people respond to with affiliate marketing and having a new window open. I like everything to open in the same window. That's just me. But we don't have that option. One. And then two, I don't know why it's giving people our address right off the top. <laughs> uh, and then three, with AWeber, when you, and I say AWeber, I'm sure other services offer this, but when you type this in and then click subscribe, it would open you up. This could be land you on an affiliate marketing offer like this could land you on if so for example like with the credit that's a credit site whoops if when you sign up for our newsletter we could it wouldn't make sense from this website Dan Mosk University but from the credit site you know clean up your credit and all you have to do is put in your name, email, phone, get a free evaluation, and we get paid $5 through affiliate marketing. Like, 
it's not huge volume, but that could pay for your email marketing, that could pay for your web hosting, that could pay for, I mean, it's a, it converts pretty well, I guess is what I'm really saying. So that's kind of a side tip. If you're doing affiliate marketing, like I would really encourage you to, uh, AWeber and MailChimp seem to be similarly priced. It seems like most of these services are. So this is Dan Moskal. You can run over to Amazon and grab a copy of our book, How to Create a Website Easy Button. You can also visit danmoskaluniversity.com and get some more tips and sign up for our free newsletter, <laughs> uh, which will and see some articles, seven affiliate marketing tips. Uh, anyways, have a great afternoon. Thanks for watching. Please comment below, like this video, and share it with your friends, family, and colleagues, and uh, have a great afternoon.